All right, so I had a gentleman complain that I didn't show him the physical movement of taking stuff apart to change the cabin air filter on a uh, 2015 to 2020 F-150. And I told him, I said, sir, why I explained everything step by step and even pointed at it and then did a movement then pointed at it, did a movement and recorded in between because I, I don't have a photographer. I don't have a videographer. I don't have somebody to sit here and record for me. So how difficult this is to do with one hand. I mean, it's not super hard, but you're not efficient when you don't have two hands. Now here, this latch has to be snapped out of the way. So you move it up and pull it back out of the way. So now it's snapped out of the way. See, I got it out right here. And then there's a tab right here. That you push right here. Push it, pull it down. Over here, take grab the corner, pull it back. That drops out of the way. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can try to fight this and take your cabin air filter and put it up on an angle and just real nicely finagle it back and forth. But I don't like doing that. There is where See, it's out, but it wants to stop right here. I don't want to go no further because it's going to hit the back of this box. Right over here in the corner, it's hitting the box. So let's take it out of there. Pull your rubber strip, seven mils. And then it pops out, so let's pull the seven mils. Be scared of it. It ain't gonna bite you. Leave it hanging. You ain't got to pull it out. Pull this here. Make sure you got your your flow right. Come on, damn it. Flow down. This is a aftermarket uh, filter because we did not have one of the factory ones in stock because we've been doing a lot of these lately. Uh, one handed, this is what sucks about doing this one handed. So some of you out there that, w that can't take the video visual in between and need to see it physically being done and people struggling while they give you this information for free, you don't understand, it's very frustrating. See, I could put this in and explain things step by step, like say, remove this, now I'm gonna do it. Stop the video, remove it, start the video back up. Okay, it's removed. But instead, people like to complain about it, kind of like I'm doing right now. Because people don't appreciate things in life, they're selfish. And uh, since the gentleman was so snarky about things and decided he wanted to start trolling the channel after I put him in his place and said, probably not the right thing to do when somebody's giving you information for free that you're going to benefit from anyway there it is it's in old one's out no one's in put all your stuff back together put your screws back in Yeah, it does go like this. It'd be nice if I had two hands because I wouldn't have to worry about fighting this damn thing.
like that. Right there. Now, since it's so easy to do this one-handed, this gets a little tricky. I'm gonna have to slide my belly over here since I'm getting paid to do this. Since the gentleman decided he wanted to complain, I'm getting paid to do this by him. He's, he's sending me a paycheck for the extra effort and struggling. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is more of a satire, kind of comical type video, y'all. Just to, just to be a little honest with you, just to prove a point here. I'm doing this to merely prove a point. Don't bite off the hand that feeds you. You want to complain about something and somebody's giving you information for free that's in the technical field and you have the nerve to complain about it and say, well, that wasn't good enough for me even though you told me everything I needed to do to replace this and make this a successful deal. I felt like I wanted to be so selfish that you should have physically moved every single piece in front of the camera so we could see it. Yeah, sometimes you could do that. A lot of times, this took me twice as long, if not longer, to do this because people complain about holding the camera. This is uh, more fun than anything, but just so y'all know, man, demanding stuff from people and, and, and you're not paying them to do it, it's not morally right. And things are hard enough as it is, especially when you need help and somebody's giving you that help or you're receiving that help from somebody and you still demand something to be done better. You don't have the reservation or the right to do that. Thank you.